Hey YouTube, how's it going today? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set your gains using the Lumi LM2001. I'll be going into some detail about how to set your gains starting at the head unit and working your way back through the RCAs and setting your gains at the amp. When setting your gains using test tones, it's always a good idea to unhook your speakers to prevent damage to them. For the purposes of this video, I'm not going to pull the head unit out and show how to, how to set the uh, head unit to clipping. I'll just show you at the amp because it's easier to access the terminals on the amp and you'll be able to figure out from there how to do your head unit. But you always want to start at the head unit and work your way back. So the first thing you're going to want to do when setting your gains is start here at the head unit, which is going to be the source of the signal for the rest of the equipment. If you're running your door speakers off of the head unit, then you're going to want to check your signal through the speaker outputs. Um, the speaker outputs will clip a lot sooner than the RCA outputs. So in my instance, before I got a four channel amp, I used to power my door speakers off of this exact head unit. Okay, so when I hooked the Lumi to my speakers, it actually clipped at volume 31 with my EQ and sub level and everything set to flat. High pass filters and all that stuff set to flat. When I hooked the Lumi to the speaker output, on the head unit it clipped at volume 33 so that's where you would want to set your gains at when you work your way back to the amp that would be your max clean volume okay now if you're using a four channel amp for your highs for your door speakers then you could measure all your signal through your RCAs So you would just hook your Lumi to your RCA cables and measure the waves. And in my instance, this head unit goes all the way. So before I only got to level 33 before it clipped using the, the speaker outputs. But when I hooked it to the RCAs, it allowed me to go all the way to level 50 before it clipped. So once you've found the max clean signal of your head unit, you can come back here to your amplifiers and start checking your signal through your RCAs. Because you don't want no dirty signal here. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is turn all your gains down to minimum. Your uh, low pass filter would be wide open. Your subsonic could be off. Same thing on your four channel amp. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you on the uh, Class D amp here, the Scar RP 1500, how to set your gains. It'll be the same thing for the four channel. You'll just do it individually for each channel. When you're testing your signal through your RCAs, it's always a good idea to test both RCAs in case um, one side is no good and one side is. Also, when you're sticking your leads to the RCA, um, I'm pretty sure that one's not a, a, a ground and one's a positive. It's a right and left channel. And... Uh, so it doesn't matter which side you hook the lead as far as black and red. But from what I have read and seen, you want to hook the black to the outside and the red to the center. After you have found your max clean output through your RCAs, you can plug those back in. But make sure you unplug your speakers before you play your test tones through your 
damage to your speaker. Alright guys, finally get to some fun stuff and show you how to use this thing. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is turn your low pass filter all the way up, your subsonic all the way off. Make sure your bass boost is off. Um, set your uh, um, bass remote all the way up. I turn mine all the way up, that way I, I know I never go beyond clipping. Um, and turn your gain all the way down. Okay, go ahead and hook your leads to the positive and negative. It doesn't matter which positive and which negative because this is a monoblock amp and the channels are bridged internally. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is hit the power button, power on the unit. Okay, if you hit the power button again, the light comes on. It doesn't stay on very long. But as you can see, that's DC. If you hit this button, it goes to AC. Okay, you see how it says overload? That means I need to turn my dial to the next one because I'm already overpowering that channel. So then all I would keep doing is keep going until it starts trying to read. Okay, so now I know that my amp right now I, I didn't turn my gain down because I'm leaving it where I already had it at. Okay. So I know my amp's putting out dang near 53 volts. So to get the wave format, you would hit display. Okay. Now to get the wave pattern that we're looking for, you would hit the select button. And. Okay, look. Second try. Sometimes you have to hit it a couple times. To get the wave pattern. Oh, let me restart my track here. My track died. Alright, there we go. So sometimes you have to hit that button a couple times to define the desired waveform. But as you can see... I got a nice clip sig a nice clean signal. It's saying 39 hertz, but that's because I'm playing uh, 40 hertz negative 5 dB tone to set my game right now. Um, so just to exaggerate it a little to show you what clipping looks like, uh, I'll turn my gain up just a hair. You see how it started to square off? That's clipping right there. You don't want that. So you'd want to bring her back until she goes completely round. Just like so. Nice, clean, round signal. Which for me is about, let me hit the light button. 53 and a half volts. So there you go. That's how you set your gains using the Lumi LM2001. Thanks for watching.